Hello, and welcome back to BeamNG Drive. Now, apparently, according to various resources on the internet, BeamNG just got updated. Now, I have had a lot of things going on lately, and so I was not fully aware that BeamNG got an update, so I have no idea what I am getting into. I have literally not read any material about the update, I have not read any patch notes about the update, so I have no idea what I'm getting into. But, without any further ado, I'm gonna turn the face cam off so you guys can enjoy my voice and pure BeamNG gameplay, although I do understand that me saying that you can enjoy my voice, for some it might sound fine, and for others it might sound like, oh god, no, don't sentence me to that, but without any further ado, let's go ahead and dive right into this new update. Welcome to Johnson Valley. Now, this is an entirely new map, and no, we are not going to be using a stock D-series to explore it for the first time. Nothing against the stock D-series, but... Hold on a minute. Are those... <laughs> oh my god. Is that a random dinosaur statue? Hold on. I'm sorry. What is this? Whoa! Got a lemon? We pay top dollar for scrap-ready cars of any make. Wait a minute. Hold on. This is BeamNG Drive. I need to run into that dinosaur and see if it's solid. Hold on. I'm gonna spin this pickup truck around. Oh god, well, open diff time. Come on! Yeah, the dinosaur's solid. That's the that, that that's not a bendable or breakable dinosaur statue in the slightest. Alright, let's get ourselves a new Oh my What? What? Whoa! Okay, now I'm kind of happy I didn't read the patch notes because... Whoa! Dune Kicker, Rock Bash... What? Oh my god, dude! Holy smokes! These things are wild! I don't know if I'm going to be trying all of them in this video, but yo! This is absolutely nuts! Let's try the TT1 Unlimited truck, because going from a stock D-Series to this? You want to talk about literally one extreme to the other. Oh my god. Oh, the detail on this thing is nuts, too. All right, let's go ahead and turn the E-brake off. Oh, listen to that. All right, let's go ahead and see if we... Oh my god. Dude, when you get on the power, look at... Look at the amount of suspension travel. <laughs> this thing is so gnarly. Oh my god. All right, I wasn't ready for that. All right, let's get out on the dunes and see what this thing is actually like to drive. You know, not spinning out immediately would be preferable. All right, let's spin you back around. And actually... This is perfect, because watch this. Oh, we can actually watch the suspension travel. Dude! Oh, that's so sick! Look at that! That's literally like watching one of those extremely satisfying trophy truck videos. Yo, that's insane! Oh, and you know they had to have watched a bunch of those when they designed this map. <laughs> that is so nuts! And it just keeps going! I can't get over the shock tuning on this thing. I'm doing 100 miles an hour right now, and it's like a cloud. Yo, oh god. Ooh, easy. We about stalled it under braking there. All right, let me spin this thing back around. And not do a 360 with it. Oh, come on, there we go. All right, now let's head out into the main dunes themselves. Now, I'm sure that there are races and missions and things like that out here, like this one, for example, but I want to go ahead and take this thing into the dunes real quick before we try any other vehicles and see what it's actually like. By the way, the map itself looks incredible, and not only that, but the game is running better than ever. Holy... Dude, look at that suspension travel. I know I'm not going as fast as I, as I could, and I'm sure that there are people that have gone through here way faster than I'm going, but I'm gonna get off of that trail and get over here on this one because this one looks even more nuts. Dude, seeing all of that suspension travel actually happening in, oh God, in basically like proper real time is nuts. 
And the fact that, like, this thing is set up so well that you don't have to worry about flipping it. You don't have to worry... I mean, if you, if you overcook it bad enough, I'm sure you'll flip it. But, like, you really don't have to worry about flipping it, like, constantly. You don't have to worry about maxing out the suspension travel. You don't have to worry about very much at all, really, when you're just absolutely ripping in this thing. And I'm sure there's other areas out here that we're going to be able to get into in a future video as well. Ooh, that got a little nuts back there. That was like a little all over the place. I got to keep my eye on what I'm... Whoa! Okay, yep, majorly overshot that. D don't worry about that. It's fine. And back on the trail. D Whoa! Okay, these dips are a little bit worse. These are a little bit more than a little bit worse. Ooh. Oh, not bad. Okay, okay. Now, if I was to bring up the map, what would we actually have access to? Whoa! Yo, we have like... Hold on. What is this? Oh, it's a hypermiling mission. This one's a crawling mission. That one's a camper mishap? Yo, that's so sick. Holy smokes. And all of these missions are in different cars. I mean, of course they would be in different cars, but still. Okay, let's see. Freeform mountain crawl. Difficulty very high. Rock slide scramble. Quick travel. I'm doing that. Will it switch my vehicle for me? Yes. Use purposed vehicle. Let's go. Oh my god. Dude, I am pumped for this. A proper crawling mission? Well, I don't know about a crawling mission, but let's see. This game mode is recovery attack. Collect all markers and use the fewest amount of recoveries as you can. You have unlimited time. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of different items. A lot more than I thought. Look at this monster! Alright, come on. Easy. So there's one, like, right there. Literally directly in front of me. So we're gonna go ahead and grab that first. Oh, God. We may want to engage our lockers at some point. Come on, come on. There we go. We got that. I have no idea what the route for this looks like. Or at least how one would best conduct the route for this. Although, I see a marker down there, and I'm... Wow. Okay. Rear diff is getting locked. I'm completely, completely stranded here now. Alright, here we go. First gear. I'm gonna ease it down the... Oh, that went well. Everything's fine. Oh, oil pan damaged. Engine oil critically low. Don't blow up before I get that marker. Come on. Ugh. No! Oh my god. Beached. Oh no, I missed... Well, that... So that went well. Uh, don't do it that way and you'll be fine. Okay, this actually turned out to be a whole heck of a lot worse than I thought it was going to be and a whole heck of a lot more challenging than I thought it was going to be. So what I'm going to do is instead of spending an entire video on this particular mission, we're actually going to switch to a different vehicle. We're going to abandon this for now and we'll come back to it later. Now, let's actually go back to the map and we'll switch to a different area. Now, like I said, we're not going to get to every single vehicle in this particular video. But what I do want to check out is... I know that a lot of people have checked out the, um... The big kind of boxy looking vehicle. We're going to check this thing out. The... Holy... Oh my... They did not... Oh my god. <laughs> Yo... Yo, that's insane. It's basically a Sherp. It's, I mean, it's basically a Sherp. I mean, it it drives like a Sherp. It looks like a Sherp. It, it's probably a Sherp. Oh, my. Okay, we need to take this thing to a mud map as soon as freaking possible. The way it steers, this thing steers like nothing I have ever driven before in BeamNG Drive. This is so insane. And when you look inside of it, you realize it's actually just handlebars, like on a freaking quad. Now, I'm curious, is this fence breakable or are we just going to drive over it? Uh... Oh my god, please tell me it's about to do... Yes! It can do that! Hold on, we're going to do that again. Yep, 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 there it is. Wait for it, and floor it, dude! 
This thing can actually flip over on itself. That's, I think, a first for a stock vehicle in BeamNG Drive. Not many stock BeamNG Drive vehicles can do that. Now, unfortunately, it seems to have a top speed of, like, 15 miles an hour. Well, 15, 16, somewhere in that general range. But even that isn't bad. Even that isn't, like, terrible. And considering the fact that this thing is meant to go through mud anyway, that's probably where you're going to be using it. At least that's where it's recommended to be used. I feel like out here it's a little bit out of its element. Like, it can drive along just fine, but high-speed desert stuff is not really this thing's purpose. Oh, 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 yep. Yeah. And it's pretty much impervious to rolling over, and it can do amazing donuts. But here's the thing. You don't really get much for tire marks because it's not doing... D oh! Okay, it does the best stoppies in the world! And you can balance them! Oh, you can actually do tricks with this thing. Hang on a minute. All right. Nose. Oh my god. All right. If you were to be able to balance the speed perfectly... Brake? Oh my god! Oh, we almost had it. You could actually basically drive this thing on its nose. And then it will... Oh, if you have enough momentum going back the other way, it will flip itself back over. Now, I know this was a very brief look at the new BeamNG update, but I freaking love it, and I cannot wait to dig more into it. But if you guys enjoyed this video and my very first reactions to the new BeamNG update, make sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys next time. Talk to you all later.